Welcome to PC Solution. Today I have another video which will teach you how to speed up your Windows 10 PC for free. Speed up your Windows 10 PC for free. I'm going to take you through a few steps on how to speed up your Windows PC 10, uh, your Windows 10 PC for free. Though you can use it also for Windows 8, Windows 7, and other Windows at it applies. So only there will be different uh, little differences in the way you apply it. So first, I'm going to uh, start with power option. Uh, power option have effect on the speed of the PC in a little way. If you are using desktop, you can correct it. If you are using a laptop, you can correct it also. Instead of trying to manage the power, you use the best power option. On a laptop and on a PC, uh, desktop, you use the high power, the complete uh, power voltage. Okay, let's do this now. By going to the battery because i'm using laptop so i go to the battery and there let me zoom it up so that we can see it uh, better let me zoom it a little bit more okay so you go to the battery icon click on it you see what pop up so move it to the best. When you get to the best, that will give you the best performance, like you see. So the power option of the chain to optimize the speed of your Windows 10 PC. Now the next thing is to disable all unwanted startup programs that are slowing down your PC. And these unwanted uh, startup programs at times also work in the background when you are working on your PC, adding to the things that are being calculated by the memory and thereby slowing down the PC because it has a lot of work to do. So how do you go to that? How do you do that? There are several ways, but I'll teach you just one way to make it easy. You go to your tax bar, an empty space there, right click, whether it's a desktop or a laptop, it's the same way. Then you, when you see the window that populate that uh, came up, look at the population and you pick tax manager. Tax manager. You wait for it to open. The window will open and populate. And in on that window, tax manager, you go to the tabs on top. Select setup. Select setup. And as you select setup, you see that it populates and you see the uh, part that says status. So it shows you the status of all the programs that are uh, coming up with the startup. You see? So look for those ones that are not Microsoft installed. All those that Microsoft installed, don't touch them. Don't disable them. Leave them alone. But all others, the one you don't, you are not interested in. That you are not actually using, you can disable them. So it will, uh, you will only enable them when you need to use it. Like Zoom meeting, I don't really use it, so I'm going to disable it. I click on that line, then I go down to where I see disable and say disable. It will now disable. You see that it has disabled it. Another thing I don't use, I don't use a, a Spotify. So you look for what you don't use and disable them. I click on that line and I come down to where I say disable and I press disable. So it is disabled now. Uh, all that, another thing I don't uh, really use, let me look at it, skept. I don't use skept. So I go to the line, I press it and I come down to the place say disable and I press the button and disable. So I'm finished with that, but if I have any other thing I want to disable, I look at them, provided it's not Microsoft installed, then I will disable them and then I'm done. I click it to go out of it. 
Uh, next thing we need to do to speed up uh, the PC, that is Windows 10 PC or any other Windows, uh, is to defragment and optimize the drive. Defragment and optimize the drive. Why do we do that? Uh, because when you are working on your computer, using your computer, there are chunks of data that are scattered about on your PC. And when your PC now needs to access any of them, it has to go around picking them from different corners to make use of. But if you optimize it, if you defragment it, you arrange, rearrange everything to be in a location that is easily accessible to your uh, PC to work on and bring out when you need it. So we go to do that, we come to this empty space here where it's a type here to search. Or you click in some, you may not see that, so you just click on the icon of window. And when you click on the icon of window, some we already have where you uh, to click run and you click on that run. But now, uh, most common new uh, windows are uh, having this one, so you click on that space, you type run. You type run, and when you type run, you hit enter. When you hit enter, a window will pop up, and on that window uh, that pop up, uh, sorry, I'm even going too faster than what I wanted to say. So let me backtrack and cancel this so we are not using run because it's the fragmentation I mention first but i was going immediately to want to do another thing now let's go back to that window you click on this uh, space that's a type here then you type the fragment even before you finish writing it you see it pop up so you see it there you click on the fragment and you wait for the window to open and as the window open then you can now do the next thing let's wait for it to open depending on the speed of your computer so it has opened so and now we have a window c and uh, that is a drive c and drive d drive c we see is windows so that's the one we need to defragment although we can also defragment the uh, recovery uh, drive but in some the the system file is not in the uh, drive c it's separate so you have to defragment both the system file and the drive C and all the ones that are defragmentable. But if you have a removable disk on it, like pen drive, uh, you will not be able to defragment that because it will even uh, indicate to you that that one cannot be defragmented. So you can either analyze it first to see whether you need to defragment or not, or you just opti uh, click optimize to or defragment and optimize it at the same time. So I don't waste my time looking for something to analyze. I just click on optimize and let it start defragmenting. So it will first analyze it before it defragment it. So it may take uh, some time depending on the need on that your PC. If it has a lot of chunks it needs to work on, it has to take time to analyze them and take time to defragment them and relocate uh, all the files and put it in the uh, appropriate place and make it easier for you to access and make it easier for you to access and in that way is speeding up your pc that is your window 10 pc or whatsoever window it may be so it uh, the fragmentation takes time uh, especially if you have not done it for a long time and if you uh, or you have a lot of uh, thing that you have worked on and they are, the chunks are really scattered in different places. It takes some time. So I'm going to cut uh, the, stop the video and wait for it to finish the fragment. Then I will continue to explain further so that we will not use all the time waiting for it to analyze and defragment. Now that the defragmentation uh, process is completed, I'll remove the program. And I'll close the program and continue. Uh, but we have to know that you can defragment 
maybe once in a week, maybe once in every two weeks, or maybe once in every month, depending on the need to speed up your PC, Windows 10. Now I go to the next one, which is to delete unnecessary temporary files. To do this, you have to bring your concus or your mouse to this place and write run. You hit enter and on that uh, window that open, type percentage temp percentage then you hit enter on the window that open you delete all unnecessary things and if it asks you whether to skip something or not that's administrative you just keep those Say delete. So you see, it said you will need to provide administrative permission to delete these files. It means those are important ones, just keep it. You close it. You go to the next one. By coming here again. Type run again. Hit enter. This time, you type temp, no percentage. Hit enter. You do the same thing, you delete all except those ones that it asks you whether to skip. You say delete. You say skip. So we skip the ones you are not supposed to delete. Skip. make it easier just say do this to all current item skip after this you go to the next one by closing this window come here again type run hit enter and now you type refresh Hit enter. You see, ask you if you want to continue. You say yes. Let's continue. You do the same thing. Hit delete. this to all skip you close the window though there are still uh, more other things we can do but I'll do once one more and leave the rest because that uh, other ones are very very sensitive so we just go now to This one, go to your PC and right click on your C drive, right click on your C drive, click, as you right click on your C drive, you then click properties, 
and as they populate, the window opens and populate. Make sure the tab general is the one that is being clicked and display. Then you click on this cleanup. You wait for your window to come up. So now, the next thing you need to do is a clean system file. So you see it's cleaning it. So that one we clean the unnecessary files on that part. That's removing the cleaning up the memory from things that are not necessary. So when you finish calculating, a window is going to Pop up. Let's patiently wait for it. Patiently wait for it. So allow it to finish calculating and display what we want to display before the next step. So now you say, okay, don't be afraid, it's not going to delete what it ought not to delete. Say, okay, are you sure? Yes, permanently delete it. It might take a while. Let's just be patient with it. So it's done. So you close the window now by saying okay. And you close this also. So now you have speed up your Windows 10 PC to a considerable speed, far better than the speed it had before. As you can see, you see the speed have a better speed. So if you like my video, give it a thumb up so that YouTube we display it to many other people that will like it also and i admonish you also to subscribe to get more videos on pc solution god bless you